a very good afternoon to all. Thank you for being here today. Welcome to our Tally CA Connect. Uh, our topic for today is simple and efficient accounting with Tally Prime. Our speaker for today is Sir LL Rasan G. I would like to give a brief introduction. LL Sir is a tax expert. He is a GST practitioner and a very passionate trainer, particular in GST law and pr procedures for businessmen, professionals, and he's been conducting training sessions for various small and large companies. He has been also conducting series of workshop and seminars for Tamil Nadu VAT, EC tax since June 16. He has handled various corporate trainings in GST and implementing GST in Tali. We are proud that Elsa is a Tali evangelist. So uh, without wasting further time, uh, a brief note to the audience, please ask your questions in Q&A so that we can address them. And even if it is missed, we can answer them later. And the recording of the session will be available in our YouTube channel. And you can also visit our community page, community.tally solutions. All the videos of Tally CA Connect are available there. Thank you so much. Elsa, over to you. Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you, Komal. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. Yes, we will begin. Good afternoon once again. Hope uh, everybody are a bit uh, relaxed by uh, hearing the extension of the tax audit deadline. So by this, you can uh, concentrate fully on this session. We, we were praying. So if that be the another uh, commitment, there won't be much concentration on this session. Okay. Everything uh, favored on our uh, vision. Okay, let's begin today's session. Before uh, getting into the uh, session, I just want a few instructions. You are always free to ask for any questions or anything which came up in our mind. Please put up in the chat. I will take it up in the end of the session so that I'll, I'll complete the entire flow of the session within the uh, given time, then certainly I will take the uh, queries, everything what you have been raising uh, you know, throughout the session. Okay. At the fact end of the session, if possible, we will try to allow a uh, few of the participants to uh, raise their own doubts also. As far as this session is concerned, uh, though that uh, topic seems to be simpler, always you, you might have remember when anything is simple, certainly there is some crucial thing to be noted. So with that uh, initial uh, understanding, I'm just taking you to the today's topics. My vision, actually, before getting into the topic, I just heard about this uh, lines by yesterday. And this was something appealing to me so that you can also uh, understand Actually, sometimes criticism is better than appreciation. It creates a tendency in us to prove them wrong. It even searches for our minute mistakes and we become more perfect to show them. Why it is so important for this session is we have been keep on uh, getting so many updates from Tally uh, since uh, the inception of the, since uh, the introduction of the Tally Prime we have been keep on getting so many releases, sub-releases, and so on. The meaning to this is Tally Solutions is one among the company which is um, at the micro level, my very minutely uh, hearing to the criticisms also. So that's what we are getting uh, so many uh, improvements and uh, we are getting so many uh, added advantages over and above the uh, period. So let's get into the uh, subject. The agenda of the day, probably you might have seen in the invitation, the quicker master creation, how it is possible in Tally Prime, this also seems to be a regular term, which you might have already known. Anyway, let me see uh, how, in my point of view, uh, you might have already experienced it or not. Let me see in my point of view. Uh, then the real-time validation HSN and JSTN, this is also another uh, thing which I've been uh, keep on at many times, many instances, you might have uh, undergone with the training. A bit of uh, my own point of view, I'll tell you. Then 
facilities at uh, voucher entry towards a GST compliance. Uh, since the uh, GST is uh, becoming more and more uh, process oriented and more and more, uh, we can say like uh, interlinked uh, compliances reports, we should be very much aware on reconciling our books of accounts with the GST reports, which we have been furnishing month on month. So by this, what are all the key elements which we have to look in while posting a voucher entry itself? Um, being a chartered accountant or being a person in, involved in auditing, we have to give some basic guidelines on data entry level or uh, at the entry level, we can suggest some entry level guidelines uh, similarly, in master creation level guidelines, all those things. By this, uh, we can get a, a desired uh, output and we can get a, a desired compliance reports and all. Comparative understanding of shortcuts. There is a, a misconception in the uh, uh, field wherein, uh, sir, uh, in ERP9, we, have, uh, we, are, uh, we were having bundle of uh, shortcuts, but uh, yeah, you are missing in tally prime and all. But as far as my observation is concerned, there are over and above the facilities which were in ERP9 that has now been captured. So meaning to this is all the shortcuts, though it is not apparently visible on the screen, it is available in tally prime. I will just quickly uh, get you through to the entire uh, list of uh, shortcuts across various uh, categories. Okay, so don't worry, all the shortcuts, every uh, other uh, easy navigation things which were available in Tally ERP9, that is there in Tally Prime also. Then some special advantages of Tally Prime, which you might have already experienced it, which were uh, the known enhancements, beyond the known en enhancements uh, throughout the last year of uh, my, my own experience with Tally Prime. I have noted down few of some peculiar enhancements in Tally Prime, which might be relevant for you, which might be uh, instrumental, instrumental for your uh, next uh, handling of this Tally Prime application. Okay, this is about the agenda of the day. Now I'm just getting into the master level. I'll just go uh, one by one slowly because uh, these are all the things, these maybe seems to be, which uh, you might have already experienced it. But my suggestion is just go through it. Just go through it. Just uh, put some time and understanding over my view of uh, this thing and uh, think over it and whether it is instrumental for any other crucial requirement of your own uh, field. So like this, I'm just getting into the subject where the first thing I wanted you to experience is, anyway, this is there in the tally prime. Uh, we have masters as a separate menu in the gateway of tally itself. That itself, uh, to many of the users at the initial stage, that itself, uh, once they, uh, they have not found the accounts info or inventory info, they find uh, somehow they have been left out in some other uh, unknown area or something. But this masters has come, this masters has come with so many peculiarities in it. So to put it, to put it in a, in a simple terms, it combines our old accounts information and invent, inventory information. This you, you might have already uh, experienced it. Anyway, let me just get into the tally application wherein, yes, this is what, this is what the master's menu you might have seen. Here, instead of our accounts information, inventory information, these things are coming. Why I am uh, 
putting an emphasis on this particular thing is earlier there was a confusion for a beginner using a tally er pen afresh uh, where, where when he wants to create a voucher type uh, even i too had a, a dilemma in the initial stage wherein the voucher type were there in accounts information as well as in inventory information so we were thinking of that uh, only accounts related voucher types were uh, there in accounts information and only inventory related voucher types were there in inventory information all those anomalies all those uh, misunderstandings were there in erp name but, but under this masters masters transactions these are all the terminologies which were used in common in common by the entire uh, software people or uh, by the entire uh, accounts domain people so masters and transactions should be the common so therefore the tally prime initially while getting into the subject itself it combines the unnecessary things unless not what i should not name it as unnecessary things uh, like uh, instead of duplicating things voucher types are under accounts info and voucher types under inventory info though it seems to be uh, Uh, speaking or uh, the same thing why not it should why not it is in a single uh, umbrella so like this many things have been uh, listed here okay this is a first point i am just getting into another point so here th this was the interpretation one of my friend told me by yesterday or day tomorrow like uh, uh, by Uh, introduction of tally prime we were all free from remembering the alt c earlier in tally uh, either uh, it was in earlier tally uh, before uh, tally 5.4 or uh, tally uh, like uh, the older tally 4.5 or in the uh, uh, later stage tally erp9 the most wanted a key is alt c whoever uh, entering into the tally software they have to remember that alt c okay here there is no need of remembering that uh, alt c so this seems to be hard for us actually for uh, people who are using tally for decades this seems to be hard but a person entering into a tally application afresh every creation every creation is available there at the top of the listing you might have seen it certainly everyone you might have, you might have seen it or uh, by the old uh, practice we have not we have not used it but it is apparently evident that all the new users are preferring this create only because the entire screen doesn't need any expertise to explain where to go about i need i have to pass on the uh, payment entry so i need to select a account so there may be some confusion of this single uh, single mode or uh, multi mode or anyway if it is in a double entry mode if a person converts into the uh, double entry mode of debits and credits certainly he can straight away go on by understanding his debits and credits so you can certainly go and uh, put the entry the only obstacle well, when he starts the ent entry is uh, he tries to i, I even uh, saw the many uh, beginners in this uh, stage by in the erp9 or anyway in the older versions of tally where they want to type sir uh, i want to put a traveling and expense traveling and conveyance uh, traveling and, uh, and conveyance ledger sir it is showing spelling error or something sir these are all the usual complaints which were coming in the earlier days so for that we used to tell sir there is a key alt c or we have to tell sir go to the accounts information create this ledger all those things but this create at the topmost part of the listing the entire listing which uh, takes away the burden of which takes over the burden of your master creation this is one of the finest thing maybe uh, being in the tally for the uh, past uh, many years you might have not felt it uh, 
that much uh, familiar but a person in a new environment certainly needs this create uh, option so by this my friend uh, uh, simply said sir uh, tally prime uh, totally took away the alt c uh, remembrance like this anyway alt c is also there i i am not saying that uh, so tally is uh, taken back the alt c alt c is also there but my simple uh, submission here is tally has retained all the old values you can say all the old what we say the shortcuts or uh, uh, the entire thing what we have even in the recent past they have taken care of so many things even you might have uh, heard about the introduction of the button bar uh, sorry at the bottom screen uh, level wherein it shows some the space bar control space bar controls then uh, prior to that uh, there was an introduction of that uh, print uh, screens and though it was available earlier uh, people wanted the very same frame at the which they were seeing in the erp9 so those things were keep on introduced that's what i said at the initial frame tally is tally is learning tally is learning tally never takes the critics as a uh, critics as a critic tally wants to develop tally wants to be with us uh, that's what the initial saying now as far as the master creation my uh, next finding out is while creating a master yes i am in the point of creating a master yes in the master let's say first i will begin with the ledger ledger master okay. in the ledger master similarly ledger master please have an experience on what what about this more details telling what what about this more detail is telling this more detail when we compare it with that earliest erp9 there would be some um additional questions or something like yeah like a cost centers applicable bill bill wise analysis which may, may not be requiring in some cases uh then similarly like here in all the cases i i wanted you to even experience or any users or new user anybody here just have it the show inactive also um, by this you can understand what are all the total collection of facilities available under this particular screen these are all a few few things which also um, makes ourselves have having a complete understanding on the product because uh, by this also uh, what i wanted to emphasize on this is earlier in the erp9 only the uh, experienced person knows which feature has to be enabled for having which for having a particular facility but under this tally prime that crucial part is taken out because um since it is Uh, categorized under a general masters or vouchers level wherever it is required if it is in an inactive mode it is in an inactive mode when we go and press the enter over there it asks for enabling the feature this is one of the finest thing so for this we don't need a special expertise knowledge special expertise knowledge on what to activate and where to activate so we used to tell to our subordinates in the earlier days of tally erp9 where sir if you want this cost center so you have to first go to the f11 feature and activate the cost center and uh, uh, interest calculation all this thing you have to go and activate there then only it will be available bill wise detail also even the bill wise detail everything is available over there because the initial um, the freshers to these uh, tally applications may not be freshers to the tally application may not be that much aware of uh, navigating into the f11 feature and so on even some experienced people they may not have the that much clear idea of where uh, where that uh, facilities whether it is in a feature or it is in a configuration 
that type of a confusion is totally taken out. So certainly this uh, type of an arrangement uh, is a cakewalk for a person uh, newly approaching the tally application. Okay. So coming to the point here, our slide says more details. So please get into more details of all the masters. In ledgers, I have these facilities in the more details. Usually in ERP name, this might be in your F12 configuration. So by this, you cannot say, sir, uh, this is there in more de details, but my configuration, what about my configuration? Yes, the configuration is also having what were there in ERP name. So don't uh, get confused over it here. All the uh, things which were there in the tally ERP name configuration, because you know, I want to add a mailing address. I want to add a, a additional information, notes uh, or contact information of the ledger. So many additional facilities in our uh, F12 configuration that is also there in the uh, configuration, F12 configuration, as it was there in the earlier days also. Here, there is a down arrow. So this screen is not this much simpler. It is going down also. Okay. So the, uh, probably my observation is there won't be any missing configuration when compared to ERP name. Certainly there will be added configuration in tally prime. So there was a uh, total uh, uh, hesitation among the users of uh, moving to uh, among the users moving to tally prime that. Sir, so these these things are missing in Tally Prime. All those things because everything is available. I have sincerely observed on it. That's what I'm telling. Okay. Then coming to the group level, more details. So please go and experience this also. Group level. What are all the more details available in the group level? So here in the group level, uh, the uh, experienced people you might have understood already. The group behaves like a sub ledger and the net debits and credits where you are, these are all the settings wherein uh, in a group, let's say, uh, this is one of the crucial uh, uh, reporting element, which everybody would appreciate, wherein in a particular group of ledgers, some debits and credits may come on seeing on the top of the report, uh, balance sheet or a trial balance, there could be uh, debits, balance as well as a credit balance that may, that would be misleading so in that case we need a debit if it is the, if the debit is uh, uh, positive if we, if, uh, like that we need a net balance of debits and credits so by activating this to the group level so even though you are let just under that particular group having different uh, debits and credit balances so that group will represent you the net of debit and credits. Okay. Then used for calculation like uh, in your purchases and uh, apportionment, allocation, all those things, no, that, that is there. So for example, you get taxes, discounts, these are all the, so these are all the facilities which are relevant for the group level, which is there in the more details. So why I am particularly getting into these things, no, these more details, more currency, we have not activated it. That got, that's what the uh, uh, alert comes. So for this, I have to activate multi-currency and create a currency, no. So here it directly push you to create a currency. Okay, then coming to the voucher type. In voucher type, more details. Okay, it, it shifts to different uh, uh, type of vouchers. Stock groups, more details, it, it shows some other things. So aliases and uh, the GST details and so on. So grouping, all those things, it comes. So like this, please go and experience each and every master more detail, what it is showing. So these are all the things you may not, you may not have the time to get into the things, but once while setting the masters, once you get start your application entirely, get start your company 
data in tally if you have spend some quality time on configuring these things certainly a lot of time will be saved at the routines so therefore my simple request is go and have a clear understanding of what were the what were what are the contents in more details what are the contents in the more details button at every master level creation at every master level creation okay now the next part facility to view all inactive details of master creation no need to remember that that so what i already told you uh, earlier in erp9 we have to understood we have to understand that we have to understand where to go and activate like i said the cost centers the bill wise analysis so that has the control first in the f11 feature then we have to come down to the ledger level and activate it so here in tally prime that uh, hurdle has been taken out so in the uh, ledger master creation itself we have a more details option that more details option that more details option if you uh, go on activate the inactive things usually more details will show the active ones so you click on the show more and show inactive so therefore all the facilities which were hidden in the particular master creation is also there so like that if i want to activate the interest calculation when i click on it it asks you to enable the facility that's what the uh arrangement available in the master ledger master creation so these are all the, the suppressed one no the invisible one here are there no these are all the inactive things we can make it active by just pressing enter it asks for the question to activate it so we will activate it so f11 features was enabling advanced facilities all we need not want to remember those complex f11 features then another important one so i think uh, how many of you uh, please uh, put a yes or no on that this uh, chat window i i'll just uh, first ask my question so please uh, i want a genuine answer from your side here i am just i want to talk about i want to talk about the chart of accounts option available under gateway of tally okay chart of accounts under gateway of tally so this is also one of the finest improvement in tally prime wherein the chart of accounts would be the common terminology which is used by many of the accounting applications as well as the developers in the market so here go our tally people tally users tally people they are well versed and they are more uh, superior than the any other person accountants in the market so but this terminology always always uh, uh, needs everybody to think oh, what sir what is that uh, chart of accounts or those things no here get into the please get, uh, have an experience what is that chart chart of accounts shows so you see here how the hierarchy of arrangement of uh, default ledgers have been there even that uh, your own you are created ledger i created sec customer customer local customer interstate i created under sundry data so uh, my at the tree view of uh, things is coming so my customer interstate my customer local is under sundry data that sundry data in turn is under current assets that current assets is again is under assets so by this i can able to view my chart of accounts in a tree format so parent what is the parent level uppermost parent level and the next level next level these these are all the uh, diagrammatical representation which are normally the uh, so technical people would understand how your accounting system is uh, this ledger how it is been controlled by what and you know, all those things 
So this chart, account, chart of accounts serves the purpose. Again, my simple request, I am not getting into all the chart of accounts here. So my simple request is go, everybody get into all these chart of accounts. Here also some inactive because we have not activated the masters, cost center masters, payroll masters, we have not activated, no. So these are those are all under inactive mode. Okay, so my sincere request is go and have a look of chart of, chart of accounts view, chart of accounts view across different uh, masters in tally. So masters chart of accounts is one of the finest uh, reporting uh, information, reporting information, which is very much useful for most of the technical people uh, who are developing applications based on the accounting software and all. So I need a chart of account. What are all the chart of accounts in your application? So you can very well go and give that chart of accounts. So this has all your created groups, default groups, you have created ledgers, everything it's there. Then my question comes here. Be ready for answering yes or no to my question. Okay. I just want earlier in our earlier in our ERP9 master creation accounts information or inventory information in both the cases we had single creation multiple creation multiple creation how many of you know multiple creation of ledger or group how many of you know multiple creation of ledger or groups in tally prime yes or no please yes or no please how many of you you know multiple creation two knows one yes is coming please sir so i want to understand um, how best uh, uh, sir my question here is i am repeating the question so there was a facility multi creation multiple ledgers and uh, yes, one gentleman has given an answer itself. Okay. So, uh, my question here is how many of you know multiple ledger or multiple group creation in Tally Prime? Yes or no? Yes or no? That was, that was my uh, question. So, probably, so th there is uh, no's are counting more here. So, therefore, this is what I wanted everyone to understand. Sir, there are so many no's within our question itself. So uh, you may uh, sir, what is tally prime? Is that, is that simple? That's what a yeah, simpler thing. Uh, many would be interested in pointing out the mistakes. The, uh, just what I, uh, the, I, I said in the initial stage, want to uh, comment on things. But there are certainly good things to be noted out certainly good things yes uh, and thanks to the gentleman who has pointed out multi ledger creation facility is available at chart of accounts menu at chart of accounts at the ledger level you see at the rightmost part multi masters at the rightmost part multi masters Click on the multi master, it asks you for the multi create and multi alter. Multi create of ledger or multi create of group or whatever. Okay, this screen, no, you might have already um, came into this level in the ERP9 from the accounts info menu, multiple creation, multiple create alter display, single create alter display. No, that multiple creation. This is here at uh, Tally Prime at the multi masters level. So is that seems is that seem to be an interesting one in Tally Prime or uh, please whoever uh, find it useful put an uh, you if it is useful put useful as a feedback here in the chat so that I can able to understand. Okay, another thing, another thing in the credit limit. Thank you. Another thing in the uh, credit limit setting, 
you know credit limit so i am a person are giving some smaller credit days to my customers so i have some payment cycles allowed a payment cycle to my customers 30 days 60 days uh, 90 days based on their performance and their thank you thank you so uh, people are putting found useful uh, for the multi user creation level which were there in the ledger so uh, ledger creation or any master creation or uh, in all master creation comes this multi masters you see in all chart of accounts in all chart of accounts uh, like uh, groups and ledgers not in voucher types because voucher type doesn't have multi no so only groups and ledgers stock uh, stock groups will have multi masters stock items will have multi masters like that whatever has the facility will have the option of multi masters multi masters option at the uh, right button toolbar of the tally prime screen okay now coming to the discussion current discussion credit limits i said i have a practice business practice of giving to some genuine customers uh, for uh, payment okay so here usually where we give the credit limit to the customers can anybody say uh where we allow credit limits to customers so let's say where we allow credit limit to customers can anybody say yes ah uh, yes ledger creation it is there okay so i am creating one customer here i am creating one customer here here default credit period no default credit period i am putting so here this f12 has the controls provide credit limits and all no the, this is the usual uh, usual procedure which everybody knows this was there in erp and also it's also same in the tally prime provide credit limits okay i am activating it okay so here it is coming uh, along with the credit period limitation i can limit the credit amount value up to which a person can borrow or can have a credit transaction with me okay my question here is in earlier multiple creation we had credit limit setting for n number of ledgers n number of ledgers no that is there in your that is there in your chart of accounts that multi masters so please note it down please note it down so credit limits across different customers or different suppliers i can set this was the screen earlier available in erp9 at the multiple ledger creation screen so this is available at our chart of accounts hope this is also useful to you at the chart of accounts at the ledger chart of accounts the multi masters button as the facility of putting the credit limits multiple parties credit limits i can set here credit limit it could be in number of days as well as amount of credit so let's say up to 10 lakhs i give a credit to him for 30 days so the 30 days or 10 lakh whichever is reaching first that will alert you okay so like this check credit days during voucher entry so therefore it alerts you also during voucher entry if this parameters are met certainly you will be getting a alert message this was already there in erp9 but we were uh, we were able to track this in multiple ledger creation that multiple ledger menu is not there in tally prime where to get it is here in our chart of accounts ledger chart of accounts we have a multi masters menu under that credit limit is available okay up to this it seems 
I am taking you to some of the relevant things. I believe, I hope. So, uh, thank you for uh, the audience which are, are gathered here and listening to me. So I, I have to be genuine and uh, to you all of you to give much more useful things, much more useful things. Hope you are following. Okay. Now, so always my uh, understanding is wherever we uh, look at it as a simple, there, there will be some other things, my new things we, which we might have missed out. So that's what uh, since tally, where we can say uh, when I browse through the Wikipedia or something, when it uh, compares a tally software with uh, other applications, it said uh, simple term tally is a feature rich software features feature rich software many other people will say about technology or this cloud or something everything but tally is a feature rich software certainly that thing is being uh, taken care in tally prime also with an addition of with an addition of uh, adopting the modern technology needs also that that that's that's what our power of simplicity has been converted into prime it's a prime product now new facility at tally prime masters menu chart of accounts we have seen it okay now another thing new facility yes this also i have shown you multi masters multi creation credit limits everything i have shown you then Holistic view of all masters. So this also I told you, like uh, in a technical point of view or people in a development uh, software and development side, they want to always uh, wanted to find out what are all the master, master records, master records and all. So here, since Dali Prime has categorized the masters, transactions and so on, so we have a collection of even uh, people we may not be aware of the technical terms when we are all accounting people. So when we want to understand the uh, software uh, professionals language, so what is a master? What is the master in the sense? So here the masters are nothing but these are all the masters. Okay, so uh, groups, ledgers and everything at the masters so in the masters show more and show inactive you can see uh, this is the list of masters so see here even your price list is a master price list is a master okay then your uh, to say uh, multi currencies are the masters then see here multiple addresses of your company we were activating in the F11 feature. Those are all the masters. Then reorder levels, payroll, we have so many masters. Payroll income tax related, personal income tax, statutory masters, we have so many things. So see and browse through what are all the masters available in time. So this is the, this will give you a collective idea about how much the uh, total list of masters been handled in tally so this will have so, some other uh, some more confidence on you so so that tally is not missing out any uh, relevant uh, masters for our accounting okay now coming to the next question next uh, agenda of our session is hsn gst validation anyway you many of you might have already experienced the uh, uh, HSN and so on. But here I wanted um, beyond the tally prime experience and all, I wanted your uh, attention on wh what are the latest developments in the field as far as the GST network is concerned. I'm just uh, taking your attention on the GST website, gst.gov.in wherein so here there are some advisory notes, news updates is coming. So here your recent advisory has come. 
as well as the advisory on revamped HSN code functionality. I want everybody to get into that and have experience on this thing. Okay, revamped HSN search. Here, what this HSN search is telling is, um, here the, this comes with some uh, advisory note and all. Before getting into the tallies thing, I want what the government gives the HSN search and all. Here, what they are telling is, this, uh, this website itself in services, user services, we have search HSN code. I'm not logging into any user ID and password. I, in simple open website itself, I have a services, user services, HSN code search. This has been, and this actually improved over here uh, in the latest updation, wherein I can use my usual terminology. Let's say I actually searched for some uh, like uh, furniture, I can say furniture. Okay. It's not coming. I have to go to the uh, description. No, yeah, I have just selected HSN. That's what it is not coming. So now description, goods description. So I can type here. This was the improvement the, yeah, just now uh, introduced by last week, I believe in the GST network, wherein I can use the common terminologies, common term terminologies. So by this, my uh, products have been searched and I can able to uh, view the particular. So when I select the particular product here, it shows you this table again shows you uh, your eight digit if it is available or it shows you the six digit level because you know all you might have known people having an aggregate annual turnover above five crores has have to put the uh, six digit HSN code, right? So for that, this product classification becomes a headache to many of the people. So uh, I'll just show you how Tally Prime has taken care of that thing. Um, before uh, getting into the Tally Prime, I just want you to have a hands on on what was there in the uh, Tally, sorry, the GST portal itself. Then as well as the uh, GST portal is concerned, they are also having another uh, GST product rates and all. There, there is a separate, uh, there is a separate uh, site is also there. I'll just also show you the same thing. Because product classification, putting a right HSN, putting a right SESE, and putting a uh, right or to say uh, GST rate is a uh, bigger thing. So it needs to be uh, carefully handled because this may be a bigger issue on the later point of time. So therefore we need utmost care to identify the right HSN code as services where, so here, this is a site, this goes like this, cpic-gst.gov.in. These are all the resources from the government itself. Uh, the point to be noted here is, uh, now, um, uh, recent days, these things are getting updated uh, immediately, instantaneously, as and when the updations are coming. So our recent past GST rate updation is 1-1-2022, right? So uh, that was updated in our CBIC, this thing. So these are all the GST related updation. So please make a note of it for your uh, regular course of action. Now I'll come to your tally part. So, so I have shown you two ways of looking at the one way at the GST portal, just to identify the HSN code from the uh, normal parlance of our words then another way is identifying the rate of tax by looking at the 
selection of the edges and code or the description of the product name. In Tally also, they have given, they have developed the HSN and SAC search by our Tally release 2.0 uh, of Tally Prime. Wherein, so here I, I am getting into the stock item. Stock item, no? Here my stock item is there. So in the product, I have put some uh, HSN code here. The rightmost part, we have everybody who might have already experienced it. Uh, please uh, uh, put your any of your queries on this particular uh, area. It, it, it asks you to the HSN SEC uh, for the particular thing. Then it directs you to put the username and password. So this username and password is the uh, API, eBay bill API user ID password. For this also, Tally is. Uh, already given a dedicated um, say so many videos and everything is there even uh, in our uh, community videos are there how to create a api even help file is also uh, telling so many things on it so here after creating this uh, api my desired api So if I say that user ID and password, my uh, desired HSN will pick the relevant description from the portal. So Tally has given this facility of checking the HSN as well as the SESE. HSN SESE validation is available at the stock item creation screen as well as the ledger master creation screen when we get into the set alter GST details. This is one by one validation. Beyond that, you might have also experienced in the GST reports menu, like display statutory report, the GST reports menu, the GST rate setup, I can collectively select all the HS and SEC, and even I can get the information for the entire information, entire uh, product masters or our service codes, which we are listing at the GST rate setup menu. So these are this is the facility at the uh, HSN and SEC service code and product code related things. Now my point here is my point here is I wanted to validate my GST number because all you might have known. In the recent past, even not in by recent past, uh, with the fact from 1st of January, our uh, input tax credit related provisions as well as the rules got a tremendous change, whereby um, all the suppliers have to put their B2B transactions to the correct GST number, where then only the uh, corresponding customer will get a input credit because whatever we put in our GSTR1 that has to be uh, populated in GSTR 2 b of the recipient. No, That was the recent uh, amendment came with the fact from 1st of January by uh, adding a provision at section 16 to subclass AA as well as rule 36 sub rule 4. All uh, professional might have already known to this thing. So in continuation to that latest updation, we need to give a correct GST number, correct GST number. So here I have given Tally Solutions GST number. So I just validate from the get GST number. And here it picks up from the portal the uh, values relevant for that GST number and the addresses relevant to that. So I can cross verify the addresses and all because there are so many litigations over transportation of goods where uh, if we put some other address uh, apart, uh, which is different from the address available in the GST portal, that goes again a different uh, problem. So all those things can be controlled 
or by looking the uh, validation of this TST number within the tally itself. So product master, HSN code, our service ledger, SAC code validation, as well as GST numbers of our suppliers, GST numbers of our customers need to be validated. These are all, these are the core requirement as far as the current GST compliance is concerned. Okay, now we will move on to our next agenda. With this, I hope everybody would have understood this HSN and GSTN validation. Facilities at voucher entry towards GST compliance. I'm, I'm just going a little bit slowly. Um, yes, here at the voucher entry level, this is one of the finest uh, facility which keeps you be controlled on putting the voucher number within the statutory requirement, within the statutory requirement. That statutory number requirement in the sense Tax invoices, tax invoices as far as the GST law is concerned, it should be uh, in the parameters which have been uh, given in the rules. No, there one of the parameter on the sale invoice, tax invoice, is that invoice number should be within 16 digits, within 16 digits, and the allowed special characters in that is the iPhone or backslash. Oh. So like this, the uh, uh, parameter of 60 digit. So many are missing that 16 digit, digit uh, numbering, no? So in between, if they put any space bar and something, some number would be missing. All those things would be there in the real time. So therefore, taking care of this thing, at the voucher entry level, at the voucher entry level, we have a configuration of F12 configuration. We have F12 configuration. This source one when voucher number exceeds 16 characters. Please make sure whoever making a tax invoices from Tally Prime, Tally software, make sure every that user has activated this facility. It should warn at the initial deviation itself. Otherwise, on uploading, we would be in a bigger problem because the invoice might have been printed out and sent to the customer. The later stage, if we find this issue, there would be a greater issue. So people, please utilize this facility on F12 configuration in your sales invoice, voucher entry level, GST compliance, make sure the warning is set to yes for voucher numbers exceeding 16 digits. Because 16 digit is the recommended number of digits for tax invoices. Okay, then configuration. Yes, this is another one I have noted in the voucher entry level. Okay, here. This GST details, okay. In the GST details, modified tax rate details in GST. Why we use this? Many, many may not know what far we are using this thing now. Uh, similarly, here the uh, allowed tax differences up to up to what level? So up to one. I have made it here. Stop. Then I can make it as uh, any desired number. Probably the nearest to rupee only will be rounding up. Tally has the flexibility to fix any thing here. Yeah. Similarly, upward rounding, down, downward rounding, greater or lesser means normal rounding is there. So like this, this GST details for sales, it is there. Sim similarly for F9 purchases, same thing is coming. For F5 payment and F6 receipt, there is another set of GST details there. Provide party details for GST along with this modify tax rate in GST. Okay. 
So uh, let me just uh, put you through on the usage of this facility first. Okay, I am explaining about this GST details. No, modified tax rate. Where comes it is possible? Where comes this? It is possible. Number one. Number one. If you maintain a common ledger for your inward supply, let's say, let's say office consumables, you are using a common ledger. Okay. Uh, similarly, you are printing and stationery or something else. So you are not uh, other inward supplies to your business, wherein there would be multiple ledgers with different GST rates would be there. So therefore, if you want to modify the tax rate, depending on the transaction here, I can make yes over here. Usually tally calculates the GST rate based on the tax rate set at the master level, but making an alteration at the voucher level we need a permission at this configuration. Modified tax rate details of GST. Okay, so let me give you a, a small statutory requirement for this. So let's say, for example, if I am selling a motor vehicle, I am selling a motor vehicle. Okay. So for motor vehicles, for motor vehicles, there is a specific uh, so, uh, notification guidance wherein um, if a motor vehicle, it is an ineligible, if it is an ineligible motor vehicle, ineligible in the sense, uh, the motor vehicle, the input credit on the purchase of the motor vehicle won't be taken. So in that case, the uh, on selling and disposing of that motor vehicle, the tax treatment over that is uh, the GST is applicable on the margin, margin of the uh, motor vehicle sold out. Like margin in the sense, the sale proceeds, the sale value less the return down value, book value. So that, that is the margin. So if any mar margin, is there on that particular motor vehicle, then only GST is calculated on the margin. So say for example, I am putting a sale of fixed assets, sale of assets I am putting. So usually your sale of assets, your sale of assets, let's say I am selling a motor vehicle at 10 lakh rupees. I think I have already shown you in the earlier uh, session also. I am just repeating it. Here, as far as the rule is concerned, though I am selling a, a motor vehicle at 10 lakh rupees, okay. Okay. Though I am selling a motor vehicle at 10 lakh rupees, I have to check the book value. The book value is, let's say it is 8 lakh rupees. So, I have to put a GST on the difference of two lakh only. So therefore, so it is a sale, local sale. So I am here in the tax amount, taxable amount, taxable amount, I'm just saying two lakh only. So the required amount on which GST has to be calculated. So now my GST will be calculated on the on the margin of supply which i have disclosed under the transaction level this taxable value so this is one of the finest usage of the modification of gst rate at the voucher level hope this is also sounds good for the people uh, sitting here okay then coming to next level. So being much more uh, cautious on putting this supplier invoice number and the date for reconciling with our uh, inward supplies, 
reports GSTR 2A and 2B, we need to fill the right values at the voucher types, purchase voucher or journal voucher. In journal voucher, by default, you may not have this reference number. You go and activate in the F12 configuration, get the reference number, put all your reference number, supplier in a reference number, so that you can able to reconcile correctly. Because here after going forward, reconciliation of 2B or 2A, 2B is much more important. All you might have know with the relevant amendment which came up from the 1st January 2022. So treatment of composite supply. Again, I said, uh, this also I already been showcased to everyone. So these are all some peculiarities um, which are around the voucher entry, which are very well taken care, taken care by Tally. That's what I am showcasing to you, all of you. Okay. Here, the composite supply definition says the when there is more than uh, two or more a combination of goods and services supplied together, we need to take care of the principal supply. There is a, there was an illustration in the uh, section itself. So uh, to be more familiar on this particular subject, uh, I'm just talking about the transportation charges which are charged along with your uh, sale invoices. So the Composite supply provision says you, your transportation packing material doesn't have any separate HSN or SAC code. It should proportionately allocated with the principal supply of your products. So this has been taken care by Tally by simply activating the facility of this include accessible value on this thing. So this is the facility I, I was keep, uh, I, I am keep on telling to uh, every tally users, this is one of the finest facility which were there in the tally itself. Then coming to the shortcuts, uh, the tally help itself as the shortcuts list over it. Here, I am just re recollecting all the shortcuts so all your control, uh, up, up, down, up arrows, down arrows, home page, up, uh, end page, down. These are all the control, alt, r, control, alt, alt, t, plus minuses, plus minus going uh, to the uh, parent level, uh, minuses to the down level. All those things which were there in the earlier ERP-9, which is also there in Prime also. So uh, I need your attention to get into the let me just show you the screen first of all. So please get into this help menu. This clearly takes you to the list of list of all keyboard shortcuts having a comparative table. This is a uh, help menu available in Tally Prime, uh, sorry, Tally Solution website, wherein it compares you with the, what is the shortcut for ERP-9 as well as the uh, Tally Prime. So uh, all the hidden keys at the master's level, voucher's level. So with all the classification, these shortcut keys have been clearly listed down. That's what I have taken and shown it here. Don't worry, all the shortcuts are there in Tally Prime also. Even in addition to Tally ERP9, there are some crucial things also being taken care in. So I'm not uh, getting into one by one of this shortcut keys because I want everybody to hands-on have an experience uh, to the relevant shortcuts which were there in ERP-9 and use it in the tally prime with the same combination. Please experience yourself whether it works correctly. Okay. So only one thing, only one thing, I think this may be new or uh, probably some of you might have already experienced it. So here there is a key called there is a key called Alt 4, numeric 4. Alt 4 or Control 4. If I press there in the amount field, that gives you the symbol of symbol of the currency. That gives you the some symbol of currency. So this is how the strength of shortcuts, strength of shortcuts 
been taken care by tally in tally prime also so other keyboard short shortcuts have been listed down as i said in the help menu there is a clear cut classification and list of uh, uh, shortcuts even the shortcuts which are uh, displayed in that the button bars button bars and the top bars of the top menus of the screen is also there so you all know by uh, a single underline means it is an alt combination by a double underline means it is a control combination then special advantages of tally prime what is that special advantages so we are just coming into the uh, last agenda of our today's discussion special advantages the known enhancements which you for the past one year you might have already have undergone with various uh, training part and all uh, free navigation by this go to switch to facility go to switch to go to switch while talking about go to switch to my uh, friend yesterday my friend uh, told the fantastic uh, facility of this go to which is actually uh, useful for uh, um shop, shops like uh, having multiple counters of billing a person in a billing counter putting some sales invoices or something like if i uh, struck up in uh, completing a bill let's say another uh, party comes if he want to make an another bill he can simply keep the sale invoice as it is and uh, go to the another voucher entry and put complete that bill and you can resume to the older uh, sale invoice that facility is available because these were all the um, um, very much needed uh, enhancements at the counter sales uh, people so uh, this go to and switch to serves that purpose very much even people here uh, if you have uh, any clients over it please have them this experience um they may feel better while using it in a tally software okay e invoicing e way bill everything we have a dedicated we had a dedicated training over it save you again it's a fantastic to save you usually i can save a, um, a report with my desired period i am with my desired comparison uh, with my desired columns the report with my desired configurations these are all the areas where i can save my own reports in as format like this so even uh, some people may say like sir in gst reports and all for a particular uh, period i have to save to all the companies when i open uh, the particular gst report it should open in a particular period like this there may be some peculiar requirements over to it so this save you serves a lot as far as uh, the recent past uh, enhancement as concerned improvement in the uh, reports in browser also so you know, now we are legibly we can able to browse through the various uh, reports in mobile itself then the um, jsoi jsoin file upload separate jsoin file upload from gstr1 iff uh, facility so iff is a peculiar facility for qrmp quarterly return monthly mode uh, filers wherein you know when export e return if i select uh, jsoin the new facility in tally prime it shows you export separate files for each section each section in the sense your b2b would be exported separately your um, credit notes like that all the different tables would be exported as a separate uh, file so beyond this known enhancements known enhancements i wanted you are attend little bit an attention i'll just complete in another 5 minutes time so we'll just take it uh, next a few minutes with the questions and all and we'll conclude okay here the uh, special features are concerned so apart from the known enhancement known enhancements in the product 
out of my experience i wanted you to note down even this is known by many of you so a uh, control plus left or right this is a peculiar shortcut available in tally prime alone and shift up and down shift up and down is selecting usually th this works in our spreadsheets and uh, uh, word documents this key works in tally prime also right now so if i press shift and up arrow that keep on selecting the next next uh, items so that is one of the peculiar thing advantage in tally prime and control c control a as you know earlier we were using the control alt c control alt v now control c and control v is there then coming to next uh, tally prime advantage this many also might have already experienced it earlier in tally erp9 when we want to activate the deliver note or deliver note rejection notes or something else we first we have to activate the tracking numbers and all those things no here in tally erp9 all the voucher types have been declared and it the uh, new facility called activate this voucher type is there so this is also a peculiar enhancement in tally prime most useful thing we may uh, as far as our desire we can activate or deactivate a voucher type so by activating this we can totally take off from the voucher entry screen this is one of the finest enhancement in tally prime and coming to the change user this is also an interesting one this you might have already known this so i have entered and login in one user here so uh, without getting out of this particular uh, company i can change to another user here i can change to another user here so i am getting into the data entry user so my another user has some restricted usage screen so change user i can without quitting from tally i can change the user so that i can uh, toggle between the various user controls within the tally uh, working tally data itself this is another finest facility available in tally prime please go and experience it uh, don't uh, just leave out with my uh, experience alone have an experience once you get a hands on then only you will get a confidence then coming to the email profile setting the email profile setting also here i am just getting into the email menu in the configuration in the here email configuration here there are some predefined profiles you see your predefined email profiles is there i have already set Uh, two predefined profiles so here uh, the purpose of this thing is everyone may not aware of what is outgoing mail server incoming mail server all those things so you you can preset with your uh, technical hardware person like what are all the email ids which you are uh, planning to use within the tally so you can configure all those things have a profile setting over there by this we can call it as and when it is needed this is one of the again one of the uh, improvement in tally prime so these are all some my own experiences i am sharing with you then another uh, tip of uh, tally prime experiences in our uh, printing menu this is one of the finest thing actually you see here set to preview as default set to preview as default no set to preview as default as been said if it is set as yes then certainly whenever you go and print anything by default it will not go to the print straight away so you see the cursor points on this yellow points on the preview button otherwise uh, it will point on print see in your print menu i have set the preview as a default i have set the preview as default if i am setting a preview uh, if i am not setting the preview as a default then 
my cursor will points me on the print directly so th this would be danger whenever yeah, yeah, somebody wants to check before printing anything they want to be a uh, uh, prior checking before make anything to be printed out so therefore i am putting i am putting this is one of the mostly needed one set preview as default yes set preview as default by putting this my cursor will point up to preview i i may not be uh, in any way or directly i cannot send the report to the printer so I first it will take you me take me to the preview level this is again a fantastic uh, facility available in tally prime much more useful in the regular usage of our application please have a experience so with this my uh, discussion is coming to an end let me see what are all the questions over here okay here yeah. we will complete the questions if there are some yes or no sir i mean youtube channel yes uh, madam said the, this would be available in the youtube channel the discussion then i think so i think uh, with the short of time we can also ask the audience to raise their hand so that you know we can unmute them and uh, okay okay yeah. sure 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 and i think there is one question uh, at the last if you scroll down mr m arafat when okay. when we upload json file to gst portal error of hsn summary mm. because tally, tally is not taking tax rate column what to do okay. please do it with the latest that has been taken care in the latest release of tally please take in care or if else further uh, that uh, issue is uh, continuing the, there is an uh, advisory from the gst and portal the, there is a mismatch there was a mismatch between their own internal records they 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 were telling uh, just to point out, first you check it out with the gst portal whether all your hsn are there in the gst portal if any mismatch there may be a mismatch uh, between their gst in portal so uh, uh, first you rectify that mistake uh, contact the self care portal of your gst in, and if that been rectified certainly with the latest release of tally prime uh, that will be taken care thank you sir uh, i do not see any further question uh, so i'll wait for another one minute if there is any further question in the audience you can raise your hand uh, we receive one message okay Just thank you that is uh, from mr ramakant saying thank you uh, we'll wait for another few seconds yes So, if an individual company it's in a question q and a box if an individual company starts business for first time on 1st january uh, 11th january 21 28 february that was my what will be the financial year financial year would be 21 22 so before the end of the financial year uh, everybody's financial year would be the uh, from the date of starting the business till the uh, end of the relevant financial year so one, one question Control, control h. h control h is not working for few voucher types how to activate it control h sir i am not clear with your doubt sir please sir. Uh, can you elaborate your doubt so here i am i am using the very same thing it's working control h is for uh, change mode change mode right voucher type change so, mode change mode yes the yes. change mode is coming sir here for me it is coming in some of the uh, uh, yeah. in a few companies it is not coming and that too in the few companies for one or two voucher types it is not coming okay okay uh, just we have to address it uh, to the respective data or something sir please have a word with your support team certainly your partners in because i am just uh, with your words uh, i am just uh, trying from the tally you can see also i can have you can see here it is coming uh, that's what i think yeah okay. um, you take a call with the respective data of your support team and your uh, partner support something yeah uh, so i think we will have to conclude this today's session so i would like to extend my 
Hadi, thanks for taking out time from your busy schedule. Thank you so much. And uh, I think the audience, uh, I think this is the first time we're receiving so many thank yous. So I think the session was very helpful for everyone. And uh, it was a very efficient and simple tips for using Tally Prime. So I'm sure most of people in on YouTube also will benefit on from this. So thank you all. I will now conclude this session. Thank you, thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all.